Today we're looking at Lesson 1, Exponential Notation. And you've already explored the fact that 5 to the 6th means 5 as a factor 6 times. And so that's 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And that should happen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times because of that power of 6. And so 9 sevenths to the 4th just means 9 sevenths as a factor 4 times, or 9 sevenths times 9 sevenths times 9 sevenths times 9 sevenths. And again, that's something you should already be familiar with. You've seen this kind of notation before. It is called exponential notation. So let's get that vocabulary in there again. That's exponential notation. And so that number, um, x to the nth, is called x raised to the nth power. And the idea is that the n in is the power, and that tells you how many times to use the product as a factor. So n is the exponent. of x in x to the nth, and x is the base. So the base is the number that you're multiplying. So the base is the number that you're multiplying. So we'll move down and do some practice problems. In exercise one, we have four as a factor, and the little dot, 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 that might be new notation, and that's just showing that that is continuing. And we're indicating that we want that to show 7 times. And so that would be written as 4 to the 7th. So we're just seeing how many times. It's a factor matches the exponent in the problem. And for exercise 2, then that's 7 halves. And they would like to indicate that for 21 times. So that's 7 halves to the 21st power. We can have decimals to a power. You can see that in this, the power is what's given to you. And so that's indicating how many times we want to use 3.6 as a factor. So we would just write that, that we want that to occur 47 times. For exercise number four, we've got a special case because we have a negative number to a power. And that's negative 13, again with the dot, dot, dot indicating that it continues for six times. And so you'd think that you'd want to put negative 13 to the sixth power. But the special case is that when we have a negative number to an exponent, we need to put parentheses around that value. And that tells us that it is the negative 13 that's being repeated and not just the opposite of 13. So we want to make sure that we put a negative value in parentheses when we want to take it to a power. So just noting that special case, put negative values in parentheses to raise them to a power. Then exercise 5, we have x repeatedly multiplied 185 times. So we have x is the base, and then the power would be how many times we're multiplying, which is 185. And then here for in exercise 6, we're writing this algebraically. So we have x repeated multiplying, that's our base. And then n is the exponent, so that is how many times we want to multiply x as a factor. We need to remember the rule when we're multiplying that a negative times a negative gives us a positive product. Because we're looking at multiplying 1s, which we know 1 times 1 is just 1, so we're really looking at how many times we're incorporating that negative. And each time our negatives would pair up, we get a positive product. So if we have the power of 12, then we end up with a positive product. Or a positive answer. And that's because that power is an even number, is telling us to have an even number of negatives. If we have 13 negative ones, or negative one is a factor 13 times, then that is an odd number of negatives, and we end up getting a negative product. In exercise eight, 
It's asking us, is it necessary to do all of the calculations to determine the sign of the product? Not the number answer, but just the sign. And the answer is no. You don't have to do all the calculations because you just need to decide whether or not you have an odd or an even number of negatives to determine the sign of the product. So what kind of number is 95? Is it odd or even? 95 is odd. And so that is going to give us a negative product. And if we look down at the next one, we've got the power of 122. You say to yourself, what kind of number is that, even or odd? And 122 is even. And so that will give us a positive product. Now looking at exercise number nine, we want to fill in the blanks about whether the number is positive or negative. If n is a positive even number, so we've got n being an even number, then negative 55 to the nth power, if that n is even, must be a positive value. Then if n is an odd number, and we've got a negative to the nth power where n is odd, then that would give us a negative product. So in exercise 10, we've got just interpreting that same idea. We have Josie says that negative 15 repeatedly multiplied six times is the same as that negative 15 to the six. Now this goes back to the previous page where we talked about how you note negatives to a power. So what do you think? She is not correct because negative 15 to the sixth power would be a positive product because the six is an even power whereas the opposite of 15 to the six would take 15 to the six and then make it negative. And that's why we need those negative values in parentheses when we want to take them to a power.